my dear 12th class students this is third video of same lesson hapni so as of now we learned so many things about this 12 year old boy whose name is hapni hapni has created story of his own we learned that he was basically an orphan with no relatives no siblings at all we also learned that uh, author has also discovered this false this fake story the story of imagination hapni has created himself so let's move to the story so uh, author knew that hapni had created a mother of his own it was clear that he was a homeless child the author says that he uh, th that the way he is attached to me and is observing me similarly he had observed mrs marmen and attached with mrs marmen in his imagination but unfortunately hapni did not know the secret the way to win mrs marmen's heart so that she would adopt hapni and save him from the lonely life the author uh, asked the hapni that if if you had such a mother uh, such a caring mother such a loving mother such a strict mother then why did you steal hapni could not answer this because he had created a story of his own he had no such mother if he had such a mother he would not have stolen things at all so hapni realized that his trick had been exposed he realized that author knew hapni is an orphan so after some time hapni this boy hapni felt sick the doctor said it was tuberculosis the author then decided to write to mrs marmen telling her the whole story about hapni about this boy the small boy he had observed mrs marmen and in in his imagination he had decided that she was the person he desired for his mother so author decided to write to mrs marmen about this whole story of hapni because he was ill so author felt to write to mrs marmen but she wrote back saying that she could not take hapni's responsibility she gave different reasons she gave reasons like hapni was a mosito a pure african boy and she was a colored woman so here we can see race discrimination we can see the discrimination based on the basis of color and another reason she never had a child in trouble she had not thought of corrupting her family by letting them have anything to do with such a boy with such a child now the doctors declared that there is a little hope hapni became very weak the doctor said that the case was almost hopeless there was very little hope of his survival the author was very depressed by seeing condition of hapni and in desperation he sent money for he sent money for mrs marmen to come to visit hapni mrs marmen was a decent homely woman and she realized the situation was serious she without delaying further decided to adopt hapni the whole reformatory uh, uh, then the whole reformatory accepted mrs marmen as hapni's mother the whole day she sat with him and talked to him about richard about dk about ina ana and mina mrs marmen talked to him with all her love and affection talked about that he would go to school talked about how how other siblings are waiting for him and what they would buy for guy fox nights guy fox nights are basically bonfire nights these are uh, they, this is on the 5th uh, this is celebrated on 5th november so uh, hapni gave hapni in return gave his full attention his whole attention to her to mrs marmen 
Now it was a time when he was totally involved with her only, and the author realized if he had done something sooner, something earlier, things would have been different. And then Hepni died. Hepni died and 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 was buried on the reformatory farm. Mrs. Marmain wanted Hepni to be buried as his own son, and she was very ashamed and and sad. and then she said if i had adopted him if i had adopted this child hepni earlier and if i had took him to my home even if sickness would have come it would have been different if he was at home things would have been different why because if anyone is sick at home he gets proper care he gets love he gets affection from his or her parents from brothers from sisters family is very important so after hepni's death she left for his home she left for her home bloomfontein and the author also realized that to be more prodigal generous in the task provided to him so she believed that that she would have uh, that things would have been totally different if uh, if he was at home if hepni had a family because family provides love and support may allah keep us may allah keep us and our family safe may allah keep us in his protection in his mercy keep us in protection against this covid pandemic thank you